Hi guys, this is Eve from Easy CMS. Today we're gonna discuss how to create content for free for digital signage. So you certainly heard already, content is king, and it's true. Content for digital signage is really important. So you need to get this right. But unfortunately, it's not always possible for everybody to hire a designer, a motion designer, a graphic designer to do the job. So most of the people will try to do it themselves and it's not always easy. So today we're going to discover how to do it yourself, how to do it for free and how to make it like a professional. So let's get started. Hey guys, so here we are. Let's get started. So the first thing to do is to sign up to PictoChart if you're not already signed up. The easiest way is to just use Google or Facebook or you can just do it with your email. So I will personally use Google and just take that I'm 16 years old. So here we go. I already had an account, so I'm in. The first thing to do is to go to create new here and then choose poster. Here you already have some templates, but for the moment we'll not use them. We just start from a blank template here. And here we go. So the user interface is very, um, you know, very simple. So as you can see, there's a main menu here on the left, sub menus here for photos and other things. And uh, here as well, you have some uh, controls for the main layout and you can download the final uh, design over here. So let's start first by adjusting the settings here, the resolution of the Canva or the layout. And I will input simply a uh, full resolution HD uh, display. So let's say that we're creating content for an LCD display. I will click back here and I will zoom out a bit. Yeah, here we go. And you can see here, we've got our first uh, layout empty and it's ready to go. So um, let's get started by adding some background picture. Here, okay, I'll go to photos. And uh, for this example, we'll use a bakery example because it's, uh, you know, it's more fun. And uh, we've got some very nice pictures here. So it's gonna make it easy. So I will add the background image. So to make sure that your images are kind of keeping their uh, size, just keep shift, you know, and it will resize accordingly, keeping the proportions. Here we go. So you have some guys included, as you can see. So here's a line, uh, the orange line is actually indicating the middle of the canvas. So let's do this. I will lock this layer. And on the top of it, I will add some uh, shape, basic shape, a rectangle. Here we go. I will place it here. Make it take some space. Here we go. We leave some you know, space on the side and I will reduce the opacity to around 40. You can input it here manually if I want to. Okay. I will lock this layer as well. Oh, it's done. Now what I will do is add some uh, text to it. So here I have the text option and I can scroll. You see, I already have some very nice examples of text uh, that I could use. And uh, I will select this one, hello there. Here we go. I will place it here. I will change the color of the text, make it white. I'm gonna stand up more. Here we go. And here as well, make it white. Here we go. I will not change it for the moment. I will add some graphics to it as well. So uh, here in my sub menu, I will go to the shapes and icon. I will type bread. And here I already have some really cool icons I can select. I will select this one. I feel like they really nice. I will zoom in. Here we go. And I will place it here on the top. Here we go. Make it a bit bigger. Oh. Yeah. It looks great. So now I'm just going to change the color as well. Going to put it white and the baguette white too. Raise them out a bit. Make sure they're in the center of the canva just to look nice. This one as well. Okay. Some croissants here. Yeah. Here we go. I got my text. Make sure up oh, it's centered. And I will add as well some of the graphics. I will add a line at the bottom. So it's here. I will 
make it slightly bigger. I will change the color too. Here we go. I will change the style. So I can make it slightly bigger and I will make it dotted. Here we go. I will make it slightly smaller now. Here we go. So I will change the text. I will say um, uh, fresh bread. We bake all day long. Here we go. So here I already have my first layout. It's a simple image and it's working, it's working very fine. So I will duplicate this. I will click on the clone block icon and I will remove this because for this content here, I will do something slightly different. I will actually keep the text, make it a bit smaller. Here we go. And I will add a picture. But I will put this picture in a frame. So I will scroll here. So this is a frame. It's like a mask to actually mask some images, as you can see. So you can mask with letters. So you have quite a lot of options here. We'll go down and I will select this one. Like this one is very simple. Make it bigger. Here we go. Slightly smaller, maybe. Here we go. What I will do is select the text that is in this layout and I will yeah, delete it. Here we go. So of course, I don't want the picture of a girl, so I'm just going to change it for some bread images. And here I've got quite a lot of choice again, you know, I've got this one, I've got this one. So just simply going to choose this one, like it. Just going to adjust it, make it a bit bigger to see that it's some brown bread. Quickly done. Here we go. And I will say here, I will change my text if I manage to do it here. Here we go. I will lock this layer actually to make it easier. And I will change my text here. I will say brown bread. And just a little tagline underneath. Um, very healthy for you. Here we go. So I got my picture, looks very nice, brown bread. Can make it a bit bigger here. And I can move it. I can even use the arrow to actually move things over. Place it in the center, maybe put the up, put this below. And so here what I would like to do is to add some, uh, some price to it, of course, to make sure that you know, people see how much I'm selling this product for. And I will go to shapes and icon. I will not search for bread. I will go for basic uh, shapes. Um, and I will not, it's not here. Um, I will just say shape here. There we go. And I will scroll and I will try to find the shape I want. Here we go. Like this one, we we'll put it here. So sometimes you can see there is a little kind of a bug over here somehow. It's not really kind of keeping it. Uh, I will save and I will go back to the main menu. Here we go. And we enter. And it will solve this. Yeah, here we go. It's back in the in the mask. So no, I will add my little price tag here. Here we go. I will change the color. We we'll make it kind of pop out a bit. Make it orange. And I would like to arrange to bring it backwards slightly. Here we go. It's behind this layer now. I will make it slightly bigger. Here we go. I will adjust it if he wants to. Up, oh, perfect. And I will add a price. I will go to text, title, and here we go. I will say it's 2.5 euros, for example. I don't know how much bread could cost eventually uh, in that kind of fancy bakery, but let's assume that it's to viewers. I will use a font which is very uh, visible as well. This one I like. Here we go. And I will use a white color for it to stand out. I will select it again. Color white. Hmm. 
doesn't copy it here color white here we go and we'll adjust it here we go so here I have in five minutes already some very nice content that I can use I will again duplicate this here we go and here I will put another product so for example I go back to graphics go back to photo and I say okay I'm not only selling bread I'm selling croissant as well here we go no not cross croissant here we go yeah very nice I got some very nice pictures of croissant over here got this one I got this one so here basically I just choose a picture I want let's say um, this is a blue one here to add some color here we go I really want to make it a bit bigger up done and I will simply change here the price I will say it's one euro and ten cents for one croissant and I will say here we go fresh So, okay. So, yummy. here we go. I love croissant, by the way, it's great. And I will again duplicate this. Now, before that, I will unlock this and I will actually change because I don't want a picture of bread uh, behind my croissant. I actually want a picture of croissant. So what I will do is use a background that will match with this and I will maybe use, I'm just checking what is good to use here. Um, oh, there's plenty, difficult to choose. I will simply take the first one maybe. Here we go. I will make sure it's, it's at the back. So I will click here and I will send to the back and I will make it very big this one here we go try to make it a bit bigger come on here very good I will make sure it's to the back and here we go. Looks great. Wow. Mm. Very nice. I will maybe bring my picture of croissant slightly lower here. Here we go. I will duplicate this page and I will add an extra information here. I will duplicate this, click it and just copy paste here. I will put this here. And I will say, for example, two, four, and make it slightly smaller. Here we go, two, four, two euros. Great. So like that, I can add some little promotion here. And maybe some graphic, for example, some arrow to kind of point to this direction. Okay. For example, let's say what would be good here to use. Um, let's choose a nice arrow that will match the design. What could we use? First one is nice. Um, da -da -dum. Got this one, very cool as well. Oh, this one, let's say. Up. Oh. I will make it bigger. I will change the color. I will put it in orange. Up. Oh. I will rotate it slightly. Here we go. And I will flip it up. Oh. And to actually make it visible, I will actually extend this. Here we go. Two for two euros. Let me make it slightly like this. So now I have my three images. 
and uh, they're looking very nice. It's all, you know, perfect for my digital signage. I will simply export it here. PNG is fine. Normal is fine. I will download this block so to make sure every image is separated. I will wait for the download to take place and I will get my images in a zip folder. This zip folder, what I will do with it is simply unzip it and I will upload it to the CMS. So I'm just going to show you how to do that just now. Hey, I'm back. So here we go. So I got the export ready. So it's great. I've got my first image, my second image, my third image, and my last image. So it's looking great, really. I did it in 10 minutes and it's really looking perfect for any, any digital signage. So I will delete that. This is a little picture chart logo. I will head to um, my easy CMS. Here we go. I will go to my layouts and I will just simply add a layout, bakery, picture chart demo, so the rest is fine, leave it as it is, I do the checkout, here we go, and I just have now to add the images, so I will just go to image, add here, I will add the files and I'll just go to my desktop here, select my images, choose, and start the upload. PictoChart is exporting pictures which are slightly heavy, so it's five megabytes, four megabytes. So the, in the best case, I would reduce it using Photoshop or any other tool to actually reduce the size, but five megabytes for an image is still decent, it's still okay. Here we go. And I have now all my images so what I will do is reorganize it because I uploaded in the wrong direction. So here we go, zero, one, two, and three. Zero, one, two, three. So here we go, we got the images in the right order. That's perfect, French croissant, everything. I can just check it here. Yeah, looks great. So that's it. I think that uh, was a short but very, you know, interesting introduction to how to create content yourself. So uh, as you can see, PictoShard is completely free. It's very easy to use and it can allow you to create content very easily. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask by comment, by email. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm available to answer your questions and uh, get creating. Thank you.